Hi, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running and here's the film where I catch you up with all the brand new trail running gear that's come out lately, testing it on the very muddy, windy and rainy trails near me in Stanford and further afield in the Peak District. In this film, I review clothing and budget head torches from Proviz, High Estate, Alp Kit and Lumi Life and in a future film, I'll cover the new Harrier Kerber 5 litre running pack, the new Innovate Cross Talon Ultra 260 trailing shoes, nutrition from Talk, an 18 watt ultra dark chocolate, and possibly a film about why some head torches cost an absolute bomb and others are £35. So subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss out. So before we start, I'd like to know which of this new gear you find most exciting or interesting. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Right, on with the new gear. Proviz. So first up, I was sent some super high vis kit by Proviz and asked to make this top tips for night running film for them here. All of the gear I'm about to talk about in this film is available in men's and women's by the way and I'm a size 12 and 5 foot 7 inches tall and I weigh 65 kilograms which is 10 stone and a bit. So my favourite item from Provis is this blue top um, with the high-vis arms, the new Reflect 360 women's long sleeve top which retails for four hundred. £45. I think it looks really good both in the day and lit up in the night and having the reflective details on the arms is perfect for runners because the movement pumping your arms back and forth makes you even more noticeable. It would be good for me if the arms were stretchier so that I could pull them up when I get really hot. Um, I run really really hot but I I imagine you can't really have a stretchier fabric without the reflective details having some difficulty sticking so I'll go for being seen and warm. They're just a little bit tight when you pull them up. The vest is also really good. It's completely high vis with this silver reflective fabric fabric and it's really easy just to put on over the top of everything else that you're wearing. Definitely a big like for me. I think it's a bit pricey on, on, on the pricey side at £35 but if that's too much for you then you might like the Lumo yellow or pink versions of this vest for just £20. The new LED 360 Anteras headlamp is good too. Nice and simple and comfy at 500 lumens and very affordable at £35. So keep on watching for more on this head torch later on in this film. Um, more accessories, the Reflect 360 convertible running gloves are super nice, well fitting. I use a size M, medium. Um, they're warm, very reflective, even without the fully reflective mitt over the top of them. The Reflect 360 running cap is like having the sun on your head. And the classic LED armband in blue or red is really simple, high-vis addition to your regular running kit. But the thing I'd never seen before is a high-vis running pack. I think this is a fantastic idea and at £50 it's eminently affordable, especially as it comes with a hydration bladder. However, they do need to make some smaller sizes. The chest strap needs to be stretchy, there needs to be two of them for a better fit and the side pockets need to be elasticated so that you can feel more secure about the things that you stash in there. This one size fits all version is a bit on the large side for me. So finally, I want to mention the Reflect. 360 Explorer running jacket, which is an incredible blast of iridescent reflectiveness when you shine a light on it. So I do like its understatedness because it's all sleek and black until a car headlights shine on you or a head torch shines on you. However, it can mean it's not the best choice for dark nights on streets because pedestrians can't necessarily because they, they don't have a light necessarily on them. It's windproof and not waterproof and it's heavier than the super light windproofs that you can get from the likes of highly technical brands like Innovate, Salomon and Montaigne. So if you run hot like me, you might find yourself having to take this off and tie it around your waist mid run. Therefore, I'd be more likely to take a super light windproof jacket like below 100 grams, then you can squash it up and, and carry it without even noticing it. However, if you do feel the cold when you run, this is perfect for cold nights and it looks really groovy too. <laughs> Next, Higher State. Now, I had never heard of this brand before. It's a new one from Sports Shoes and it's very, very cheap compared to the bigger brands. So they sent this light-ish windproof. Um, it's the Windproof Reflective Women's Jacket, which is wonderfully bright and reflective which is very good. It has just the one zip pocket just here and it's very simple but effective for light, drizzle and wind. It's 70 pounds, which is good value in itself, but I saw their sale, I saw it on sale in mid-January for 25 pounds, which is pretty amazing. They also sent me this nice waterproof as well, the reflective ultralight waterproof running jacket, which should be 130 pounds, but it's currently 40 pounds on the Sports Shoes website, which is 
quite frankly, a steal. It's very simple, but it still has all the features you need in a lightweight waterproof jacket, water resistant zip, pockets left and right, Velcro cuffs, elastic adjustments at the hem and the hood. Comes up big, like this is a size 12, but I think I could do with a 10. I wish I'd had time to include it in our lightweight waterproof jackets test here. But my absolute favorite are these thermal leggings. I did not know that I needed a full length pair of thermal leggings because I usually run really hot and I spend the entire winter in three quarter lengths unless it actually snows. But the moment I put these on I, and felt the gorgeous fleecy lining, I was converted and I now wear them all the time. They don't have an ankle zip like some of the um, full length leggings do, but I genuinely don't miss this. They go on really easily, they're so stretchy. The reflective strip down the side is brilliant. The draw cord at the waist stops them falling down and the zip pocket at the back is just big enough for a regular sized smartphone. They're supposed to be £45, which is very reasonable in itself, but currently they're marked down to £20, which is a total bargain. So for me, this set of features makes them perfect for all my winter running. Next, Outkit. So Outkit sent me a wonderful array of winter kit to test, including my favourite here, the Leica Thermal Base Layer, which is amazingly only £40. This is a size 12 and it fitted very well. It's nice and true to size. So simple. It has a half zip for ventilation, a soft fleecy lining, thumb loops for extra warmth. It's quite wind resistant and treated with polydeen so you can get away with washing it less. And it's also made from 100% recycled polyester, which is amazing news. Thank you, Outkit, nice one. So you'd use this to run in when it's really cold or if you were jogging nice and slowly. It's light enough to pop in your running pack for stopping for snacks at the summit of mountains, etc. Um, they also sent me the Quark head torch. So this retails at 35 pounds. It's great for a lightweight, 580 lumen rechargeable head torch that lasts for two hours, uh, two and a half hours on this maximum setting. I feel like I want to say more about this when I've used it more, along with the 500 lumen Provis Anteras that I spoke about earlier, and also the Silver Cross Trail XT7, the 600 lumen head torch that I just made this film about here. So it's good to understand why the silver is. 160 pounds versus 35 pounds for these two. Basically, the silver burns for over three times as long on max power, but it would also be good to compare the quality of the light output and the beam length. So might do another film about these three so that you can make a more informed choice about what you need. So stay tuned to our Ginger Running YouTube channel. So the jacket and gilet are the next two items of kit from Outkit, and they're very interesting, but they're not what I would usually buy. However, having tested them, I actually found one of them way more useful than I found thought. So this is the Morphosis half zip at 80 pounds. It's a smock with a long zip and a sort of soft fleece grid inside, a bit like the old style buffalo jackets if you ever wore them for hiking. It's a fleece with a water resistant, wind resistant outer layer, um, so it's more than just a fleece. So for me, I achieve this by using a long sleeve base layer and a lightweight windproof jacket on top because I run really hot and I like the flexibility of adjustable lightweight layers. But the interesting thing about this jacket is that it isn't fleece everywhere. It's only windproof fabric under the arms um, and sides, which helps a lot and stops you getting too hot. There you go. So I did go for a slow run in the freezing cold and light drizzle with this on and it was actually really nice to be cosy. However, after 10 to 20 minutes, I often just end up having to stop and take this smock off and tie it around my waist, even in the depths of winter. Um, with a full zipped jacket, I can carry on running slowly while I take the jacket off and stash it into my pack. So to have to stop to take this kind of jumper style smock off is not ideal either. So personally, that's why I use my combination of a long sleeve base layer and a windproof or waterproof jacket, because when I get too hot, uh, a, a really lightweight windproof or waterproof is just easy to take, a, take off and stow in your pack or just hold in your hand. However, if you're a slimmer person or running in very cold conditions or you always feel the cold, this will be a really good piece of kit for you. And the same applies to this awesome gilet, the Morphosis Hybrid Vest at £55. So it's hard for me to test this as I'm really not a gilet person, especially because when you're running, you're effectively wearing a waistcoat in the form of a running pack already. So I just get far too hot and without arms in a gilet, you can't tie it around your waist. But if you are a gilet person and you do get really cold core, then a wind and water resistant one like this with um, fleecy, fleecy inner, fleecy chest, fleecy back and wind windproof but um, less insulated side panels is going to be excellent for you. So there you go. It's the same as on the jacket. You've got 
a grid fleece there and you've got just windproof and water resistant there and then insulated at the back there as well. <laughs> Looks nice. Got these two pockets as well. And you can use these tags with gloves really easily. It's got hem draw cords as well. And uh, a collar, nice and warm around the neck area. So the Spectre pullover glove. Now, hopefully this comes across as constructive criticism, as I know a lot of hard work goes into developing these products by a very dedicated team. But I was disappointed with the £21 Spectre pullover gloves compared to the ones from Provis that I've used recently. So the stretchy cuffs just weren't tight enough for them to stay on, and the fit of the fingers was too large for the thumb and forefinger, but for the others it was fine. The only way that they stayed on securely was when the elasticated windproof mitt was over the fingers. So unfortunately, I don't say this about a lot of kit, but I wouldn't recommend these gloves. However, the cooling trail tights, I didn't want to end out kit section on a low point, so I've left these really nice full length running tights until last. They're great value at £32, really comfy with a zip pocket at the back that will fit your phone, a drawstring at the waist so they don't reel the way down your hips and a zip at the ankle to get them on easily. The fabric is brushed inside so it feels really nice on the skin and they're also two long slim pockets on the outer thigh left and right which is trendy these days. I think the idea is that you put your phone in them but I never do because I find it annoying there and there isn't a zip. Never put anything expensive or important into a pocket with no zip. So these are really good. I have been enjoying wearing these so thank you very much to Outkit for sending me that bumper bonanza bundle of kit. And finally, Lumi Life. So, Lumi Life is a new company that have currently a thermal base layer and a beanie hat out made from top quality merino wool. They're making socks too, but these will be out more towards the spring, so I'll catch you up on that later on. So this is the Beta Tech Merino base layer and it's super comfy. It wicks sweat away fast, dries really quickly, and it's a nice longer length as well. So I do run hot, so I usually end up hooking up the nice stretchy sleeves. But if you run cold or on really freezing winter days, um, windy days where you might be going quite slowly, this is excellent. The Beta Tech Merino beanie is very lightweight, yet incredibly warm. And it's the kind of thing you can cheerfully add to your pack if it says hat on your mandatory kit list. So merino will always cost more, so it's £70 for the base layer and £25 for the beanie. So it's more of an investment if you want supreme performance from your gear with kit that is lightweight, extremely warm and very quick drying. So I've been really enjoying wearing their base layer and it will be really exciting to see more from Lumi Life as they add to their range. Hat, beanie and long sleeved merino base layer. So that is my quick review of some of the gear that I've been testing this autumn and winter so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give this film a like if you did and let me know in the comments below which item here you find most exciting or interesting and why. So coming up in future gear review films we have the new Harrier Kerber 5 litre backpack here. New trail running nutrition with gels, flapjacks and a winter cold and flu relief drink from Torque and dark chocolate rocket fuel from 18 Noir Ultra. I've just got these Innovate Cross Talon Ultra 260 shoes, very muddy indeed, so I can tell you all about those. And finally, a potential silver Cross Trail XT7 and Provis and Terres and Alpkit Quark head torch standoff maybe in the pipeline too. So subscribe free on YouTube and follow me on Instagram for more gear tests and training advice. I also have a book out too for everything you need to know about trail running in one handy package, including more gear advice, nutrition tips, recipes, ways to beat injury, and training plans from 10K to 50K. Check it out here. Also have a look at my gear reviews playlist here for everything I've tested so far. And if you're looking to buy a certain thing, you can find out if I've reviewed it or not by typing in the thing plus wild ginger running into Google. So say for example, waterproof jackets, wild ginger running. If I've done a review on it, it should come up in the search. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the trails.